what's up guys so today we are going to try and cast some molds for the obvia racing mc24 this is my first attempt at ever doing something like this and you can't be too safe when you're messing with chemicals um, so we're going to glove up we're going to mask up um, and we're going to follow the directions so uh, based on everything i have went over with uh, enrico from obvia racing it's not a hard process it's just you want to do it as accurate as possible and be as safe as possible. So we've got a N95 mask because we're gonna be safe. I've got glasses because I already wear glasses. Um, so I should be good there. But what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna do this the right way. So I am going to get the mask around my neck first because I don't wanna have an issue in my 90s. I wanna live there and sim racing till the end. Um, but I want to be as smart as possible. So part of the process is literally I've got my smooth on uh, universal mold release. Uh, pretty simple. I paid 20 bucks at a spot here in Ohio called uh, Permaflex. Awesome. I will buy all of my stuff from them moving forward. I've got some Vitaflex 60 or so 60A. Um, I've got this cost me, I think, 22 bucks for the pack. I bought two boxes of it because you never know what things may happen in the future. So you got part A. In part B. Uh, in addition to that, I got some smooth on so strong black color. Um, just literally a couple drops of that should work perfectly fine. Um, based on everything I've read so far, uh, it's equal parts A to equal parts B. Um, the colorant is going in equal parts B. Um, and then from there, that's what we're going to do. We're going to mix in 100 grams of A, 100 grams of B. Put the molds, spray the molds down with the smooth on mold release, um, and then get everything fitted so that when we put it on, we gotta let it sit for 16 hours. I am doing this in my garage with the door actually open, um, but away from the UV rays that could potentially harm. Um, but because it's going into this enclosure, I should be fine because it's going to be completely enclosed by the enclosures that you can order. Um, so all of the parts that you see here, as far as the molds and like all of this is included in his directions and they're very thorough. Um, they're some of the best directions I've ever read in my life when it comes to putting DIY stuff together. Um, like I said, Pokorny has been top notch. Um, I've worked with Velocitas Imperium and they've made changes to their directions and they're spot on. They're much simpler to read as a noob like me. And, you know, Enrico from Obvia has been great. We've been collaborating back and forth. He's been giving me some advice on things. He's got some really cool things planned for the future. Um, I can't wait to share them with you and hopefully at some point he'll let me share them with you as well. Um, but some really cool stuff planned. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our best to do this as accurate and as best as possible. Um, I might make mistakes, judge me as much as you want, um, but I'm perfectly fine with that because at the end of the day, this is going to be something new and I'm going to make sure I look at this. Um, yeah, so strong tints will, let's see, la, 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 la. one drop will color tint a pint 454 grams of material. Um, wow. Uh, use det user determines proper loading, premix color thoroughly into part B before adding part A as I was saying. So, um, yeah, so I'm very excited by this. Um, I will obviously spice this video up to edit out some of the bad parts. Whoa. Um, but, uh, we will see as we go along there. So first and foremost, I'm going to spray my smooth on onto the molds. So let's mask up first. Like I said, I want to be safe rather than sorry. Hopefully you can hear me well with the mask on. Let me put this behind my ears so I can get glasses on to protect my eyes and be safe. So what we're going to do is I have sprayed down or put down some plastic on this table. Um, and you might hear animals outside. It is summertime here so or spring. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these molds. I'm going to put down some more plastic because I want to be safe again. So we put some plastic down. I've got a brush here to try and make sure I get it in every crevice to release. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to si slide over here. I've put them on the ground in my garage. And we're going to spray them up, get them all lathered up, and then fit them to the 
uh, wonderful plate here so that we can get the molds ready. So give me a sec to get them sprayed up. So we've brushed it in. It says give it about five minutes. So we will do just that, take the mask off because we're not spraying anything, and then I'll be back in five. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to spray another layer on here, um, then let it sit for five minutes. What we're going to do is, instead of just letting it sit for five minutes, we're going to start attaching it to the frame, to the carbon fiber that I got here. Uh, this way, as it's sitting, we'll have plenty of time between spraying, attaching it to the carbon fiber plate, and then mixing up the material. So let's do that. All right, we have sprayed everything down. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take this off, take this off. Now I'm gonna start mounting the plates on. And again, these molds were provided in the file. Um, these molds are X resin. Most of the stuff you'll see I got from either JL P JLC PCB because of the price or some recommended that he links like sunlight is where I got this carbon plate so let's go ahead and start getting this mounted or not mounted but assembled so we can start then mixing our resin so first things first we're going to make sure we get this on here correctly because uh we have to then screw it down, and it's going to be screwed down with 23, well, 28, and actually, I'm going to take this mask off for a little bit. You need 28 of these. Uh, they're M3 by 55s, and unfortunately, they don't all just push in because the tolerances on some of these are so tight, you might have to force them in if you can. If not, I have to use the drill to kind of force it through. But once you do, you're gonna need some M3 nuts as well. Um, some of these, as you can see, will go straight on through, which is nice. Some of them will not. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep pressing, but you want it to be as tight as you can because when you start mixing in and pouring in the resin, you want it to set perfectly and not leak out. So what I will do is do this. And when you see this, it'll probably be fast forwarded so that you're not sitting watching me do this part all at once. Uh, so as you can see, it's all tight, molds are around the plates. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sit this to the side. We're going to start mixing our resin. We're going to do 100 grams of A and 100 grams of B. I'm going to put on some gloves. These are trash. I'm going to put on a new set of gloves just to be safe. Okay, we've got 100 grams of B. What we're going to do is now we're going to take our So Strong Black colorant. We're going to add, literally, as it said, I'm going to make it two drops. And we're going to mix it vigorously.
That's more of a gray. I'm going to add another drop or two. He said a few drops, so. to be as black as possible. I'm going to mix one more drop. I'm pretty sure I might be putting too much, but for me, I want it to be as black as I can get it. I'm gonna be careful mixing. I don't wanna mix in any air bubbles, but from what I understand, just mixing it like this, you should be fine. Okay. So, so he's got equal parts, rubbers, Okay, part A, cool. Now we're gonna pour B into A. We got the, we're going to mix it quite well. This has a limited shelf life, so yeah. So use as soon as possible. So if this comes out great, I'm going to recommend to my buddy Logan at Wookie OH, let's check out his stream. He's going to be building the Picorni GTE button box. So that should be cool. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start the pour. There are spouts here. Um, I have a funnel. I'll be right back. <laughs> 